The discovery of bodies in Tangel Andres could it be the two missing persons. The story's ahead in the Bahamas tonight. And a woman is stabbed multiple times. The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition, starts now. Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Every Day. Skeletal remains found on the island of Andros, and now family members and residents are hoping that their worst fears are not realized. Good evening and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. I'm Andrew Knowles. It's great to have you joining us. Various tests will have to be carried out to determine whether the remains are those of the two persons who went missing last month. Immigration officer Shane Gardner and Trishka Brennan mysteriously vanished without a trace. And since then, authorities said search crews have been combing the area in hopes of finding them. Well, ZNS News was the first to break the story in November, and today our cameras were the only ones rolling in this latest twist of events. Clint Watson has been following the story. Pain and anguish gripped the close-knit community of Central Andra Sunday as police pulled the remains from the tall pine forest. A convoy of police vehicles were in place as the remains were retrieved and then transported to Fresh Creek International Airport. Now the area where the discovery was made is some distance off the main road. We can tell you there's a long road to an open area with just pine fields. That's where the discovery was made. Residents on the island told us two hunters made the gruesome discovery Saturday evening. 49-year-old immigration officer Shane Garden of Love Hill and 28-year-old Triska Brenna of Cargo Creek went missing on November 23rd. Now residents told us that one of the remains was found in a bag and the other in a nearby hole. Police are still tight-lipped on this matter, careful not to release too much information. Superintendent Bruce Arnett, the officer in charge of the island, gave us the basic information on the discovery. The only thing we're prepared to say right now, Clint, is that we discovered the remains of two persons. We have to wait for further analysis to say exactly who they are or what we have. We're prepared to say that we believe that we will bring some closure to the matter that we're looking at. We are one step closer now. One step closer, we believe. We just need to know what happened. And once we can determine what happened, then we can find those responsible for what happened. The remains have been flown to the capital, and that's where police expect to confirm the identification of the victims. But this community remains in shock and grief. Residents can't believe what they're experiencing. The most shocking to me, and nothing like that has never happened in Central Andrews, and I'm very shocked about it. Everybody is talking about it. They're shocked about it. See, I mean, you know, people are crying and falling down and doing things, but it's difficult. It's difficult to explain what really happened. We know we found the people and that, that's it. We, we don't give them up. We felt as though that somebody came and do it and gone and leave no trace or no sign. We searched all around, but police say it came with nothing, so we thought it was the end of it. Now to this date, police say they've received excellent support from the community. They're hoping that if anyone still has information, that they will still come forward so they can bring closure to this case and also bring to justice the personal people responsible. In Fresh Creek Andros, Clint Watson, ZNS Network News. Now, just hours after that discovery, authorities were called to West Bay Street where a young woman was found dead. LaDon Davis has the latest. It was during the wee hours on Sunday morning when police received a call about the discovery of a woman found stabbed multiple times about the body at this apartment complex on West Bay Street. Head of the Central Detective Unit, Superintendent Paul Roll, told ZNS News what police found when they arrived on the crime scene. If the call around 4 a.m. this morning, officers responded to the, as an apartment building on the northern side of West Bay Street. And uh, there they met a female suffering from multiple stab wounds about the body. EMS also responded to the scene and uh, examined the body and pronounced that she was lifeless. Superintendent Rowe says several of the victim's roommates were questioned about the incident immediately after they returned home on Sunday morning. When asked if the police knew the identity of the country's latest murder victim, Mr. Rowe said she could be a foreigner. I believe this female to be a uh, Jamaican national 
uh, in her late 20s. And um, we appeal to members of the public who may have some information as to the circumstances on this latest homicide to give us a call. Now police say they do not have a motive or any leads that can help them to solve this latest murder and are once again asking the public with any information they may have to come forward. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News. In other news this evening, Foreign Affairs Minister Fred Mitchell says government is looking to conclude a Bahamas-Haiti accord, which may help stem the seemingly unending flow of illegal migrants from Haiti to the Bahamas. The agreement was negotiated with Haiti under the presidency of John Bertrand Aristide a decade ago, but left unsigned when Mr. Aristide was overthrown. Prime Minister Perry Christie engaged in dialogue with Haitian President Michel Martelly while attending the memorial service of Nelson Mandela in South Africa over critical migration issues. We're told that out of the 323 migrants held at the Kamaika Road Detention Center, 221 of them are Haitians. We're working on two tracks. To revive that, uh, the president uh, told our prime minister that any of the resources Haiti has to put on this problem, they're willing to do so. One of the things we've asked them about is publicity in the north of Haiti to tell people do not make this very dangerous journey. And the fact is we're trying by this procedure that we're following to make sure that people know if you get caught, you're going back home and you're going back home as quickly as possible. Coming up, two more shopping days before Christmas and we get an idea of how sales are going. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition.